Hello, I am Ferris Pilots, and today we're going to be playing some more Pillars of Eternity. Last time around, we got fucked by a bunch of shades. I apologize for the gratuitous usage of uh, obscenities here, but it's it's kind of true. Hey. You saw it, you know what I mean. Oh. We should not have done what we just did. It was not a good idea. Let me just put it like that. We need to get these people, like, all really up against the corner. Or at least, like, some semblance of that. Because these shadows, they don't care about being engagement attacks. They just, like, they don't give a fuck. They'll attack you with anything they've got. Is the thing. Yeah, see what I mean? Okay, everybody, unload on it. This guy's gonna be a problem. I can already tell. Yeah. He's attacking you, right? Why don't you turn into a lion for a second? Yeah, and then kill him. Point the way. And you use some sunbeams here. Toss him down. Yes. Uh just just do what you've been doing, son. Actually, why don't you heal our friend here? Uh, you can hold off on the heal for now. I think you'll be fine. Mm. Why don't you use a bit of a defensive uh ability? Mm. You can use a bit of a defensive ability as well. Yeah. Okay, so this specter is like unkillable apparently, which is bad for our friend, our friend Heravius here. Really, we need <laughs> like this is not good. Luckily, we have the whispers of Yenwood equipped on Aider. Mm -hmm. You need to use all of the spells that you have right now, which is not very many. But you can use this actually. Maybe it'll work on the specter. I don't know. His mental resistance is actually ridiculous, so it's not going to work properly. But if it does, that would be amazing. It did not. But you know what? You can continue to attack him. Heravius is uh, quite low on health. Why don't we toss a heal down on him? So uh, maybe we can get Itumak in the same thing. Where is Itumak? Or anyways, where is he? A little guy. He's over there. Okay. So yeah, we should be able to get both of them in, in the same heal. So that worked. Okay. And we'll have... Uh, you haven't used Holy Radiance. Yeah, use Holy Radiance. What are you doing, Kana, you crazy motherfucker? Get out of the way. You ruined everything. You've spoiled everything. Okay. Go here. Summon guy. Summon guy, Kana. Summon guy. Okay, you've summoned guy. And you're, like, dead now. So that's amazing. Um, motherfucker. <laughs> use Consecrated Ground. No, don't use Consecrated Ground. Use, uh, use Circle of Protection. Do it here. I'm here. Use, uh, use, use, use. Use this. Okay, Kana is dead. That's fine. We're gonna be all right. I'm here. Uh, this is not good. Kevin Durant is in a bad spot. He hasn't used Circle of Protection yet. He's under attack. Aider, why don't you attack this guy? Because he's attacking Kevin Durant, who is, like, kind of really important to our whole situation here. You're out of... You're out of thing? Okay. That's not good. <laughs> it's actually really bad. Uh, who is here? This is Heravius. He's back to being human again? You know what? That means use the lightning spell. The pack has diminished. Who died? Worm. Okay, I don't care if the worms die. That's, like... They're the least of my worries. They should actually really be attacking people, though. Like, attacking people that actually care about attacking. That's the thing. That should probably help out a little bit. Oh, yes! Kevin Durant is in a better spot. I think. Alright. I wish he could summon some kind of awesome-ass thing. Increasing Might and Resolve, I don't know how much that's going to help, but... What's the area of effect on it? I don't even know. It doesn't tell you. Well, you can use, uh... I don't know what you can use. You can use Dire Blessing. Increasing critical hits. That's not great. Maybe Despondent Blow? Makes enemies weaker? Yeah. No, that's not even good. What the shit, man? Warding Seal? That's not great. But this is like all kind of not great stuff. What kind of buffs do we have on us? Not, we don't have like a ton of buffs, so we can use another one of these. And uh, give us some defense. Yeah, I know you're starting to slow the pack. I don't give a shit, man. 
you still... Okay, that's Kevin Durant. You still haven't used this. Oh, it's already activated. Okay, that's fine. Hmm? Dingle Bingle can probably now do something or not. Why are you not attacking anybody, Dingle Bingle? Why do you not have your psychic whip equipped? That's what I'm wondering. First of all, you should equip that. I don't... I don't know if you can equip it. or It's like manual or... I, I don't think it's manual. I think he just does it on his own. How about you use, uh... F f f f f Crucible of the Soul. Oh, yeah, now you run away. Sure. Or just attack, I guess. Don't use your fucking rapier, dude. Holy shit. Okay, keep on attacking this guy. Kevin Durant, my friend. Use a circle of... Uh, toss a circle of protection down. Yeah, nicely done. Okay, good. All right, everybody, attack this specter. Okay, this specter is uh, barely injured. We're gonna have a bad time here for Itsumak, <laughs> probably. Yeah. But you know what? We could do something. We can use a staghorn attack to kill this specter a little bit. Staghorn attack is actually quite good. Right, and we can use a uh, sunbeam here. Itsumak is gonna eat it a little bit, but I don't care. The Sunbeam is kind of an awesome attack, so... Yeah, get fucked. Okay. Huh? Sagani, you can use Sunbeam too. Which means you probably should. Are these guys weak against fire? Yeah. Yeah, they are. Alright, use uh, use Sunbeam like right here. Nicely done. Okay. This Spectre is almost dead. What happened to... How did you die, Dingle Bingle? I don't even understand. But Sagani, you can continue to spam Sunbeam probably going to help us out a little bit. Who is this? This is a worm. Okay. Yeah, continue to spam sun Sunbeam. It's probably going to help us out a little bit. Kevin Durant, you can use, uh... I don't know what you can use. Well, Heravius is in quite a bit of danger. I'm here. And we can't really heal what? him up in any other kind Point of way, away. so... Maybe... Ready, watcher. We can just have her attack him. And you can attack him too. Or this Spectre. Not, not, not her obvious. Don't attack him. He's, he's kind of, he's her friend. Oh, okay, that's bad. But that's also kind of good because we can do this now. Okay, it's not so bad. We can do some of these, uh, some of this bad boy holy power. How about divine mark? This guy has high mental resistance. This guy has low mental resistance. This guy has low mental resistance. Use it on this guy. Just finish him off. Okay. Just a little blood loss. Okay, 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 okay. That was a bit of a difficult fight, I'm not gonna lie, but we're 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 we made it we made through it. Like we we're we're we are through it, I should say. We made it through the difficult fight, is what I is what I mean. <laughs> but okay. Let's let's loot. It's so not worth it to fight these guys. Holy shit. And plus we can't camp here, which is like the worst thing, because how do you really expect me to defeat these guys without camping? They're like... I understand they're like, you should camp in the inn because it's an inn, but I'm too lazy to do that. At least the previous dungeon that was inside of a freaking town allowed you to camp inside of the dungeon. This one's just like, no camping allowed, also you have to fight billions of enemies, though. Like, that's not fair. Attack! Unload on him! Okay, Kevin Durant, come up. Use a bit of this bad boy right here. And continue to attack. Dingle Bingle, stop being terrible. How about that? How about we do something a little bit... Uh, what's your weakness? Fortitude. I don't have anything that can attack Fortitude. Except for Soul Ignition. So I'm going to use Soul Ignition. Which did not work, apparently. So we'll just continue to attack as usual. Uh, are you using your defensive ability? No, you should be using your defensive ability while you can. Huh? And why don't you just mark prey so that each Tumac can deal a little bit better. Got an arrow for this one. Like, even killing one of these specters is so hard because their defenses are ridiculously high. It's kind of terrible. I shall. If it wasn't for like our OP ranged weapons, we would be in a really bad spot. Alright, quick save complete. We're like saving after every battle. That's that's how bad this and has gotten. What does the flame reveal? 
fish. It reveals fish. This is like the most not worth it. You can see the salt starting to rise. These shadows are not... I don't like them. Because it's like, you know, normal co combat in Pillars of Eternity. It follows like basic rules of engagement. But these shadows just avoid them by teleporting directly at your freaking mages. And they seem to teleport apparently at random. So there's no real way to do anything. This is a selected correspondences. This is evacuation notice. A during reinforcements advancing immediately. Something, something. Here's a key to the lighthouse tower. That's fine. We're going to go there in a second. But first, we're going to pick up a frying breastplate. Uh -huh. It is okay. Not amazing, but it's it'll it'll do in a pinch. We'll we'll take it. We should probably still be sneaking and just like make sure that there's no additional loot that we're missing out on because loot is good. Loot is actually very good. That's That's what I've always been saying. Also, open up the lock. Nicely done. All right. Get out of... Yeah. Now we'll pick up the key. Uh, mostly because I don't want to... I don't want the key to be like, hey, you're not going to get XP from picking the lock now. So we got to maximize our experience point gain, of course. And again, we're going to, like, save scum here a little bit. This is Lilith. She's going to summon a bunch of specters and murder us all. Perception 18, motherfucker, man. Shrieking sobs pierce your ears. They rattle the misty rafters at the lighthouse. They emanate from the spectral figure of a woman hovering in the middle of the room. Each heave of her shoulders unleashes another hair-raising wail. Attack the Sienguela. Let's back away. Let's, uh, do a little bit of scouting. Oh, uh, Itumac can't loot? That sucks. Man, her wailing is actually kind of scary. Alright, nice scouting done. Nice scouting. Good scouting. I like it. <laughs> Can E2Mac talk to her? Just be like, hey, what's up? We'll put her... We'll put him right next to her. How about that? Huh? Of course. Alright, how about we get closer? As you approach, the spirit's cries take on a threatening edge. The, the swirling mist... Around its legs, ripples with movement. Black pits of its eyes level momentarily around yours. Let's back away. Let's loot the shit out of this place before we do anything. So, I think that's a good idea. We're going to go into sneaky mode. And we're going to have Dingle Bingle run around. His health is worryingly low. Honestly, I feel like if he dies once more, uh, we should not even like heal him. Because if then he's going to be dead for real. Like, this is one thing that I find kind of odd about Pillars of Eternity. Like, it's it's... It's bad to heal your characters because uh, if they're at low health, because, because like then they might actually die. Uh, anyways, Dark Cloud, Nadir, and Ship, something, something. That's a logbook. That's fine. Whoa, 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 what? The Wailing Banshee. Uh, let's go to our task. Is that a task or is it a quest? It's a quest. Wow. A banshee on, or what looks, locals refer to as Kean Gwila, wails and screams from the third floor of the lighthouse. It hasn't attacked me yet, but I'll need to get rid of it one way or the other before the tower is safe for DS workers. The last lighthouse keeper kept a log seemingly into the final days of the War of Defiance. This person was also tracking the appearance of a ship called the Red Dream. Niha might know more about it. So I'm guessing that this has something to do with the banshee's presence here. So we'll check that out. Whoa, Jack of Wide Waters. DR8 plus it's weak against burn and corrode. But it's a light armor. Speed is only minus 20. And that's that's about it. But it's like only minus 20 speed. And it's got DR8, which is really good. Um, we're probably gonna equip it on somebody. Maybe on Sagani? I don't know. Her armor is like minus 45, but it gives her sunbeam, and that's the main reason I want it. It's DR9. How about this dude, Heravius? He seems to get attacked quite frequently. <laughs> and yeah, it's like, it's just a straight up upgrade over his armor. Uh, I mean, it's, it's worse against burn and, and stuff. It's worse against burn. That's the only thing it's worse against. And it's not even like that much worse against burn. It's one DR worse. So we are going to equip it on Heravius and it looks kind of silly, but it, if it works, it works, man. We're still sneaking. We're just going to make sure that, uh, that we're not running into any traps or anything like that. This is a Psalm to Wadika. 
That's fine. Let's make sure that we're not... Hey, what is this? Lilith, Lilith's Shawl. That's Lilith over here, that's for sure. Gives you Aura of Stealth, which is plus one Stealth, and a lot more Perception. We'll take it. I wonder if Sigani can have this. Because if she can, she's going to be like the most perceptive individual in the world. Because she's already got the Torque of Falcon Eyes. But now she's got the even more perceptive thing. This guy has Resolve and Intellect. Whatever, we can deal with the armor equipping later. But now let's see, Sigani's perception is going to be like 21, which is ridiculous. Like, holy shit, man. <laughs> That's really good. Um... Wait, does Dingle Bingle have enough perception to do the thing? Because if we give him... No, he doesn't. He just straight up doesn't. Okay. Let's go out of sneaking mode. I think we've already seen everything. We need to go back down and talk to Nia, because she might know about the ship, which might relate to the Banshee, because I really don't want to fight the combat encounter, because these shades are... F fuck the shades, basically, is what I'm trying to tell you. I know we have the Whisper of Yenwood, which is, like, amazing. I'm glad I kept it and did not sell it, because... Fuck the shades, man. <laughs> Honestly. Uh, this... Whoever designed these areas with the shades... Like, I hate you. I, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. That might be a little bit extreme, but... You know... Come on. That was, like, not even fair. They totally, like, gang fuck you. And, like, these enemies... They can't... You, they don't work like all the other enemies in the game. Hello. Have you heard of the Red Dream? Who hasn't? That ship's been running raids for decades now. Used to stop in New Humar Landon, laden with spoils from Rawatai traders. These days, I hear she spends most of her time prowling the Dreadfire, Deadfire Archipelago. Nia points to her ship anchored in the distance. That's her when she's at port. Her captain, an elf named Werewith, takes her shore leave over at the Charred Barrel in Brackenbury. Believe it or not, she likes her creature comforts. That's what I'm talking about. When a pirate won't even set foot in the tavern on the other s on this side of town, it's high time for a new establishment. I'll talk to you later. So we need to go and talk to um, we need to go and talk to Merwith in the Charred Barrel in Brackenbury. All right, we'll do that. Uh, we also need to go back and who is this motherfucker? Need something? Oh no, what never mind. I, th I thought he was like an asshole, but he's mm -hmm. just a guy. Indeed. Can we go aboard this ship? No, it doesn't seem like we can. Oh well. But yeah, we need to go off to the other... But we'll, we'll, we'll stop by the Salty Mast because apparently like, we got a clue that the kid is supposed to be there or something. I'm not exactly sure what's going on. Where, Which route are our characters taking? If they're taking this route, you know what? I'm going to do a thing. I'm going to make sure that... Uh, said I wasn't prestigious enough for their club. Okay. I'm going to make sure that we can... Well, well, I'm going to just give this whole district a once-over to make sure that we can solve this whorehouse quest before we leave the district. Yeah, I thought it would be in here. Let's put e 2 Mac up front. Not yes, Dingle Bingle. Indeed. Following your lead. I think it puts, like... Ah, oh, I see what happens. But we can't really put Sigani up front? I mean, we could try, but... Whatever. We probably should have rested... <laughs> Harass and thug. Afer wears a defiant expression in a sturdy yet battered suit of armor. She seems to bear buried scratch with and ding with pride. You don't look like one of the knights. Can I help you with something? I'm here about the trouble at the salty mast. Ordinary kith are angry, as they should be with that crooked Amua toadying up to the nobles. She's using the tragedy of Wadewin's legacy to line her pockets. She's no better than the Adiran overlords we drove out 200 years ago. Maya's made it so that only the rich can afford her establishment, yet she sits in the poorest district of Defiance Bay. How is that right? We've taken the matters into our own hands. She's the real criminal here. Why don't you tell her to back down? Maya might be making a fortune, but her employees aren't. You're hurting them even more. I hadn't thought of it that way. Her dull pauldrons sag. Then I guess there's no point to this, is there? She looks at the thug standing around her and finally nods. Tell Maya we'll leave her people alone. Okay. Harass and thug. Mm -hmm. That was a very easy task to uh, deal with, actually. See, w one thing is, a lot of the time in this game, you'll go to an area and there'll be nothing in there, but then you'll, like, 
go back Indeed. to the area after you have a quest, and then it'll be, like, super important or something. So you think you've explored it, but you haven't. That's what happened to me with that abandoned farmhouse. With the guys who were, like, supposed to be in the peril of whale, but then they weren't because, brr, we're only here after you take the quest or something like that. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. It's to stop you from, like, just doing the quests before you even have them, but, you know... It is kind of like you you're like I've explored this entire area but then you don't actually Greetings. get to explore it. I talked with the ringleader, she's great to leave you alone. Well, that's a welcome surprise and one what's celebrating. Take some coppers and enjoy yourself. And if you choose to have your fun here, enjoy my special discount. Someone's giving you the talk, right? Because Kull is the one who handles it with our children, but if no one's ever explained it to you, now just what can I do for a strapping lad like yourself? Goodbye. We need to find this kid. He's supposed to be in here somewhere. But I've, like, I've given this a very thorough once-over, but like I said, there's a lot of this, uh, a lot of the stuff that goes on here. It's like, you know, in this game, it's sometimes it replaces, like, like, you can't unlock it until you've made a certain amount of progress. So, perhaps we will find the child once again. Let's talk to Wade again. Never mind. Okay. I don't know, man. Have you seen the kid, though? No? Maybe this guy knows something Greetings. about the kid? Because it's like, come on! It says right here, Brave Darren. Find Darren. It said, his father frequents the Salty Mask. I found his father. He left the boy for a quick drink and lost track of him. Imatil told me that Darren likes to play around the ships at the docks. And Marqueno told me that Darren came by a few days ago asking to play on a ship. And he saw the kid heading towards the Salty Mask. Like, I don't even... What? You know what? Okay, I have an idea. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here for some quiet time. I'd like a night with Cyril. Maybe Cyril knows something about the kid. We'll find her quarters upstairs. Don't mind the burly fellows at the door. They're just there to make sure everyone has a good time. Okay. So I'm thinking maybe Cyril knows something about the kid. Like, that's my only real guess. Uh, in, in either case... <laughs> In either case, we'll find out what happens with this mysterious Cyril. I don't really know, but we'll see. Let's go. Who the heck is this? That's a noble. Let's talk to the noble. Maya could have chased the Adherence from Defiance Bay all by herself. Lasted Scepter indeed. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Let's go. Let's go and talk to Cyril. How are you, Cyril? powder almost hides the circles under her eyes, and the rouge dusts her two prominent cheekbones. Despite it all, Cyril is beautiful. She favors you with a smile she must have practiced and perfected. Hello, stranger. Let me make you more comfortable. It is rather warm in here. Maybe later? I don't... You and I have unfinished business. Okay. That rest... Does that heal us up? Oh, no, I don't know it doesn't. Okay. Was that it? Like, what, what, do, you, what do you get? Uh, I don't know. Hold on. Did we level up for having sex with Cyril? <laughs> that would be a little bit silly. Uh, no. I don't know what the point was of that. That was useless. Alright, let's go in here. Maybe the kid isn't hiding in this closet. No. Well, we gotta level up, but I'm thinking we might... <sighs> we might go down and ask... What is going on? I'm so confused. I am so confused right now first of all this is like i i was thinking there would be like some kind of humorous quip after you you know had sex oh. with cyril but there isn't maybe another time i don't even understand what just like what was the point of that okay god you know what? I'm just gonna level up. Fuck this shit. Oh, it gives you a buff. I see how it is. I see how it is. Okay, it gives you a buff to athletics, constitution, and dexterity. That's kind of shitty. <laughs> but okay. Let's level up Dingle Bingle. God damn, man. Look at his majestic hair. And like the, I like how the cloak sort of swishes around <laughs> as you turn the character. Alright, let's uh, give him some mechanic skill. And Mind Lance, this sounds amazing. 40 to 48 Pierce versus Will. That's good. Body Attunement, plus 
Plus 7 damage reduction stolen. What? Finding the strengths of its defenses and stealing them for his or her own. Okay, how long does that last for? Does it just last forever? Because if so, that's OP as shit. Um, yeah, pain block just gives everybody... Oh, no. Yeah, it gives an ally target, not everybody. Plus 10 damage reduction, which seems really good. Silent Scream. And deals raw damage to all enemies within. And stuns the target. And causes an interrupt. I like the idea of this quite a bit, because raw damage is pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet. Wild Leech. 10 points stolen from a random attribute versus will. Plus 10 accuracy. Okay. I, I don't care about that. The body attunement, though, seems pretty sweet, too. Plus 7 damage reduction. That's, like... I don't know how good it is. I think it's until that enemy dies, probably. But that's not great. Target plus length. Oh! All in the line of attack. So it's not just one target. It's like multiple targets. But it's also, it can hurt your own guys, which I don't necessarily want. Pain block seems good, and Silent Scream seems good as well. So I'm going to go with those to all enemies within. Yeah, so it's all enemies attack. I don't need to aim. I like it. <laughs> uh, we're going to level up Aider as well. I can't believe that actually sleeping with, uh, what's her face? Ceres didn't give us a rest. That's like, come on. Okay, let's go with athletics on Aider. I mean, he doesn't need athletics. He's not the one who's got, like, problems with athletics. But what else are we going to put it in, right? Armored Grace seems really good. A minus 16% armor speed penalty. It's good. But I think maybe weapon specialization soldier? No, that's, uh, that's not what we want. We want ruffian? No, no, no. We want the one that gives you a sword. Noble. No. Knight? I, I wish there was one that was like weapon specialization shield. Because that would be sweet. 50% of damage taken converted to healing over time. What? Oh, no, 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 I don't want it. Confidence, aim. Grazes converted into hits. And more minimum damage. Dis discipline, barrage. No, 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 no. Guardian stance. Lowers accuracy, but increases deflection of all nearby allies. I don't care about the allies so much. Like, you're just the one who's going to take a lot of damage. Armored Grace seems good. Then we can give him, like, super heavy armor. And he'll just be, like, super heavy, like, defensive guy. Right? Seems, it seems useful. I don't know how great it is. Maybe I'll just give him Weapon Specialization Knight. Because, like, Battle Axe, Sword, Morning Star, Crossbow. That seems like a decent enough... Uh... Does this count as a sword? <laughs> I don't even know. Who gets a uh, Saber specialty? Oh, Ruffian. Okay. Yeah, I, I feel like he'll use a sword. That's fine. Unbending? I Because mostly I just want him to be a defensive type character, honestly. Armored Grace. But, yeah, we'll give him Weapon Specialization Knight. Why not? He'll be a sword user. That's my thinking. I gotta hurry up with this leveling up. I'm, I'm almost out of time in the video. Spending the entire time leveling up. You are gonna get Athletics. Your lore is almost maxed out, so you might as well get some lore as well. Kevin Durant. Get some Athletics as well. Don't, uh, don't slow us down. Got a ton of new spells. Bar barring Death's Door, etc, etc. It's good. We'll read those later. And we'll go with Kana. Kana leveled up. Got some athletics. I feel like athletics is one of the more useful abilities. One's, one doesn't stood against the power of a saint. No. <laughs> like, no. Rhyme and Frost, not necessarily. Friendly or a drop trap, Rhyme and Frost. That seems, seems alright. Fox and the Farmer did run. Minus 10 accuracy against disengaging enemies. Nah, I, I like this. Rhyme and Frost. Seems good. Alright, Heravius. How did everybody level up? That's pretty good. I guess those shadows were t No, it was for doing the quest. Alright, Heravius. What are you gonna get? You're gonna get athletics because you're fucking... Get tired all the time. Motherfucker. Dude. So, that's done. That was pretty easy. And... And... Uh, Sagani. You know what? You're going to get athletics as well. 
Everybody gets athletics. Swift aim. The ranger gets into a speedy and fluid offensive rhythm, reducing accuracy, but increasing fire rate. Ah, uh, it's... Well... I don't uh, necessarily want to reduce her accuracy, is my thinking. And it's modal, though, so that's, we can switch around. That, it just gives us an option of doing that sort of thing, which is good. Defensive bond, plus 5 defense against the AoE. Animal companions, plus 5 defense against the, or plus 15. That's good. I just want something that makes Itumak a better tank, honestly. No driving flight, range attacks, bounce? What? Wait, 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 wait. That seems freaking great. <laughs> but no. Uh, take down. Instincts for Ranger's animal companion to rush to a target, knocking it prone. No, thank you. Arrow sense. No. Vicious aim. Uh, lowers a attack and reload rate to hit more damage. No, 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 no. How about defensive bond? I like the idea of defensive bond. Just make Itumak a better tank. It's my idea. I'm probably, like, not min-maxing properly, but that's okay. And you know what? I think this is a good enough time to end the episode, so thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.